Hi everybody, so I just got back from IMATS LA and it was amazing. It had a lot of cool things to see. Uh, I got to meet up with a few of the other YouTube gurus and it was just amazing. I got to see Jen again, Bella Pepper. I got to meet Chia, Makeup Land Forever, or Makeup Land. Um, I got to meet PDX Beauty and Pixie Mama. I don't remember their names quite, but I will link them all down below. And I brought my friend with me and she had a really good time. She was amazed and overwhelmed by all the makeup and just everything there. Um, I also took a picture with T Makeup by Tiffany D. And she is amazingly beautiful. She's so tall. And um, yeah, I'll include pictures for you. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I got from iMats. And... So this time for IMATS, I was not sponsored to go, uh, but I bought my ticket anyways, and I probably got there around 8.30, but the line seriously wrapped around the whole building, and I took pictures of that too, and we probably got into the exhibition room probably around 9 10 or so so I mean it wasn't too bad it wasn't as bad as I was expecting it to be but we did have to wait a little while but I think next year if I go I'll probably go a little later just so that way I don't have to wait in line and hopefully I won't have that much to buy um, on my shopping list but anyways I'll get into the haul for you and so this is the bag that we got this year it's a black bag. I think it looks nicer than last year's, honestly. It has a lot of cool pictures and stuff. And you get your iMats booklet that comes with all the stuff in it. So, one of the booths, I think, was it Shani Cosmetics? You got this bag and just for entering your email and stuff, they gave you some free goodies. And I don't even know what they gave us, but you got like a lip gloss keyring. Mine's number eight. You got a like a nail filer, different kinds of grits. And we got some eyeliner pencils. I think I got black and bronze. And then, oh, I guess we got two lip keychain lip gloss things. And then also an eyeshadow. And it's like a light shimmery pink. So that was cool. Got some free stuff just for giving out my email. Or whatever and then Sigma this year their booth they actually were selling brush kits and whatnot the ones that I was interested in they were sold out of but they went ahead and gave out like little Sigma bags and so they give you the summer booklet and then also a free eyeliner brush. This is the E05. It's a really thin brush and it's a hot pink handle. That's really cute. And then also a 10% off code. Um, their items at iMats I think were 15% off, but again, they weren't, they didn't have the kits that I was interested in. Like I wanted the travel bunny kit or whatever. Um, but they didn't have any more of those. So yeah, but I got to feel the brushes. So now I feel more confident in buying their brushes online. See, I didn't buy their brushes online just because like I didn't get to feel them myself. And yeah, I know everyone says they're so amazing and everything, but I was kind of, you know, wary about 
spending money on something that I had never touched before. But now that I've uh, had the chance to touch the brushes and feel all of them, I feel more confident in purchasing from them online now. So, And then I went to Stila. Stila, all of their things at their booth, all the things at their booth were 40% off. So I got some contest prizes for you guys. I will not show you what I got. Well, this is what the side looks like. So I'm going to do a giveaway soon for you guys, just for you guys. And I didn't buy anything for myself at Stila. It's kind of weird, but that's for you guys. And then I went to... See, I got some Too Faced products. I got the Too Faced Smoky Eye Palette. This was also 40% off. Normally these run about $36, um, so you can do the math. But I love their palettes. I have, I want to say, I think I only have the matte palette, but I'm very, very happy with that one. Basically, the new smoky eye palette it's thinner like the new designed palettes doesn't have that pull out drawer I'm going to show you right now if I can open it so it is thinner and you get a sample of Too Faced shadow insurance and you get the little cards and the shadows that's what they look like so I got that from Too Faced, they are also giving out free samples just for like walking by. It's so got two more shadow insurance um, samples. And then at, I don't even remember what booth this was, but it's Bio Elements. I got the Volcanic Mud Soap and the Sensitive Skin Pack. These are free. You know, it's always nice to have free things to take home. I think last year I got more free things, though. Maybe I didn't go walk around enough. I don't know. Uh, from Crown Brushes, I only got one brush this year. I got the C431 Precision Detail. It's just a pencil brush. I figured I needed a smaller one for detailing. And then... I went, I stopped by Delium Tools and I got the Face 949, the pointed foundation brush. This was only $8, but this is like the travel one, so it is smaller. But I like it because the pointed foundation brush, you can, you know, evenly get your foundation around your nose and under your eyes, I think. So I got that. I caved in for the Uni palette. I was going to get either white or black, but I figured it's kind of boring. I don't do makeup professionally anyway, so I might as well get a color I really like. So I got the pink palette. And basically the Uni palette is something where you can depot your shadows or blushes or whatever to condense it into one palette. So it's great for travel. And... I believe it comes with like the little magnetic thingies, but that's what it looks like. I got the pink one. This normally runs $29, but I got mine for $19. So a lot of the booths had like really good discounts. And then I stopped by the Beauty Treats booth. Uh, to visit Terry over there. She was the one that sponsored me last year to go and she gave me a couple of free samples. She gave me the Beauty Treats Oatmeal Oxygen Bubble Mask for clean and bright skin. Comes with two treatments so that's really cool. Um, it doesn't waste any product. And this is the Peach Oxygen Bubble Mask for clean and bright skin. Again, two treatments. So that was really nice of her. Um, took a picture with her too. And then, oh, I went to NYX. So, at NYX, they don't always have 
like amazing deals at their booth but I figured since I was there I would just go ahead and pick some things up that I've been wanting to try and I was able to you know swatch and play with all those things so I got a bunch a bunch of lip products I was going to pick up some of the matte lipsticks but none of the colors really appealed to me so I got a lot of the soft matte lip creams and the extreme lip creams the extreme lip creams they are a lot more creamy and they look glossy so your lips you know look more alive I guess they have a shine to them and then the matte ones obviously they are a cream that dries to matte finish so I got let's see I need to separate these because I did pick up some for my giveaway too so those are for my giveaway these are the ones I got so I'll start off with the soft matte lip creams I got four colors and I don't remember how much these cost. I think they're maybe like $4.25 or something. I got Tokyo, which is this like baby pink color. And then I got Stockholm, which is like a nude brown. And I got Istanbul, which is a cute milky pink. And I got Milan, which is like a deeper rose pink and then I got three of the extreme lip creams I have so this is number 10 natural which is like a nudie color this one is nude peach fuzz number 11 and this one is candyland number two so those are uh, those things I will go ahead and swatch them too. So I swatched them for you guys and seriously the matte, the soft matte lip creams smell like candy. They smell really good. So those are the swatches. The matte ones are the ones on top here. So starting from this side, the first one I have here is Milan. The next one is Istanbul. Then the brownish one is Stockholm. And then the last one, like the really creamy milky pink, is Tokyo. And then the ones down here are the extreme lip colors, so they are more glossy. They won't dry to a matte finish. Starting from this way, going this way, the first one I have is Candyland. The second one I have is Nude Peach Fuzz, so the one in the middle. And then the last one is Natural. So, those are those. And I grabbed some again for a contest. And I was going to Inglot. Well, I was trying to get into the Inglot counter, but it wasn't as bad as last year. However, some of the people were taking forever. They were seriously swatching every single color. I was like, come on. Like, don't you kind of know what you want? I kind of did. I kind of wanted, you know, purples and browns, but, you know, no one was letting me in. So I was like, forget it. You know, I'll just go to the one in Irvine. It's not that far from me. I figured I could just stop by and take my time and have the whole store to myself. And... I don't think they're doing a huge deal. I think the only difference was that you get your palette for free and then you like just pay for the shadows, but I mean the palette isn't even that much more expensive. So it's like whatever, I don't want to wait anymore. So I did again take some pictures for you guys. I filmed the Stila like makeup show that they did. That was really neat. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions, you want any reviews on the things that I bought, I honestly didn't buy too much, I think. Uh, I think I went more crazy last year. So, a lot of the things I bought for you guys anyways, so. 
uh, that was IMATS for me. I hope you enjoyed my haul, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!